I think if you really want your club to maintain and, and to grow and become a strong club, you, you need to have a common strand of leadership. And um, I can't imagine any Rotarian coming to RLI and being disappointed and not leaving with some new information to make the club a better thing and make themselves maybe a more active member of the club. What did you get out of RLI? Um, okay, well, being a new member, right, just inducted four months, um, it was very informative because there's a lot of things that I didn't know, mm -hmm. a lot of things. Um, it has encouraged me to actually participate more with service projects. Um, the Rotary Foundation, I had no idea that it was separate from Rotary International. Uh, the background, um, how to go about suggesting project, analyzing which projects would be feasible, the whole step, um, meeting new people, of course, the fellowship. It was really, so far, it has been awesome. I think it's important for people to take the leadership course even if, no matter how long they've been in Rotary, but even if they don't want to be in a leadership position, because I think it helps you understand how Rotary is run. So just as an ordinary, ordinary member, let's say you, you have no desire to be in a leadership position, but as an ordinary member, you know what to expect from your leaders, and you know what to, what to call them on, and what to, what, to, what to hold them to. So I think that's why it's important. Well, Rotary actors really benefit from RLI in a, in a different way because we get to interact more with Rotarians, we get to bridge that gap which seems to always be there, that gap between us and them. And it helps us to understand Rotary a lot better, prepares us for that phase when we get there, when we're aged out of Rotaract. Um, but it also addresses a lot of our major issues, um, especially to do with membership. Um, and we get a lot of good ideas and a lot of good information coming out of RLI as far as membership recruitment and retention goes. RLI is, 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 is greater than leadership. It, it, it's, it's a learning institute. Um, and I, I don't consider leadership the, uh, the main thing, but it's a learning institute and out of it comes leadership. I love the discussion that these sessions generate. I think sharing ideas with other Rotarians and finding out what goes on with other clubs, I think it's invaluable. For new members, it's fairly overwhelming, especially the terminology and, and uh, you know, all the uh, acronyms that we have. And everybody goes, what, what's that? <laughs> you know, why don't you just say what you mean? That's not GSE, it's group study exchange, you know, <laughs> things like that. I had a Rotarian from Georgia who'd been a Rotarian for 25 years, past district governor and said he had nothing to learn. My reply to him was, but we can learn from you, because that's the whole idea of the classes, is that they're completely interactive. So, and as it turns out, he did come to me afterwards and saying, yes, he, he felt he did participate, but he did learn a whole lot from the newer Rotarians as well. Because I think younger Rotarians have a different way of looking at Rotary. It's an evolving community. I did my first session at RLI as a sitting district governor in 2006. And it was astonishing, I was astonished at how much of the basics of Rotary I had forgotten, even as a sitting district governor. So even a Rotarian who's been in for five years, 55 years, they will forget something or forget lots of the basics. And it brings you right back to the basics of what we're all doing. And of course, Rotary is an ever evolving topic and you keep up to date with all the new improvements, the new developments within the organization and you can have some fun at the same time. If you're going to be doing any kind of uh, committee chair or director, which if you're not doing any if you've been Rotary in the first place, um, it's a good learning experience. I'm a firm believer that every Rotarian has a defining moment in their Rotary journey. Every Rotarian has a defining moment. It's different for everybody, and it comes at different times in the journey. You've heard the expression, well, I've been in Rotary for 30 years, but I've only been a Rotarian for 15 years. So in that 15th year, that Rotarian had a defining moment that made them become, in their mind, a Rotarian. RLI can help design. It is worth it. It really is. We all grumbled Saturday and Sunday, you know, we're giving up our weekend. And at the end of each day, or even at the end of each session, we're going, wow, that was great. And the speakers are great. The food is good. So that 
probably go some way. And we're here in Cayman, so $200 isn't really a lot of money. I, I don't think for a two-day event, I, I would definitely pay it, um, what I have done. Um, I suppose you, you get a lot out of it, and I suppose it would take you a longer time to research and go through everything and get the experiences of other people. But this way, it's concentrated over two days. And even after day one, I, you know, I feel a lot more confident. I know what I want, want to do, and you know, I want to join Rotary because I know what it's about. Um, you know, whereas somebody, they've got to make up their own mind, but they need to know the facts, they need to come in and see what it's about and meet the people. I'm almost wondering if I can do it again after it's finished, because I know the curriculum's going to be updated, and uh, for all you Rotarians that have seen this interview, you need to get it done. You know, um, I'm a Rotary actor, I'm graduating, and uh, for any of you who have not graduated, that's a $2 fine, and uh, please, please sign up next year. It's a maturing process in Rotary, it deepened their relationship with Rotary as a, a worldwide organization. In our class, we, we did some really creative things because we had several clubs throughout the district and also from the district in Florida as well. So there was exchange of ideas of community service projects. There was, in one particular class, we collected enough money to give to one of the Haitian um, participants for them to do a well project in Haiti. It, it, it really, really was, I have to say, the most, one of the most amazing things I've done in Rotary was participate in RLI because it, knowledge, fellowship, friendship, pulls it all together, it was perfect. And I think every Rotarian should do it. And I think the bottom line is, uh, goals should always be measurable. And in the Sunshine Division, uh, better than 95% of graduates from RLI uh, are still Rotarians. And that's the bottom line right there. That's, that's the magic number. That's the magic bullet.